Hey, good morning and happy Aloha Friday. We made it through another week and the weather seems to be uh, making a good turn, getting a lot of rain, but I need to keep remember that April showers bring May flowers and trying to keep that good focus. But it's also uh, uh, state testing time. And so that can be a pretty stressful time for our students. Um, you know, I know a lot of them are preparing for their speeches this week, and then we have state testing coming up as well. And so one of the things I've been talking with students a lot this week um, are kind of like three tips for a better brain, because there are a lot of things that our students do that don't help their brain, don't help their thinking. And so I wanted to come up with like kind of three tips for them as far as uh, helping them out with that. Um, the first was pretty simple. I told them to just get better sleep, get more rest. And that's something that um, has a real high benefit to um, having bre better brain health. And frankly, they don't do a good job of that. And um, they don't get enough sleep. Um, they... Um, certainly don't have a lot of control of what time they get up, but they do have a lot of control of what time they go to bed. And so um, what I suggested to them was just like they set an alarm to get up in the morning, maybe they should set an alarm to go to bed at night. And that will be a real helpful reminder of, you know, hey, I need to go to bed. I need to start um, winding things down. Uh, I need to plug in my devices to charge up, and I need to unplug my brain to give it time to charge up, um, is kind of how I put it with them. And, and so those are some good things, um, you know, putting away the devices, um, making sure that their bedroom is dark and quiet and those kinds of things. I prefer a much cooler bedroom uh, with a fan on and those kinds of things. And so again, optimizing those sleep environments is what we talked about. Um, I would also recommend um, avoiding any ultra processed foods. Now, um, sometimes those ultra processed foods are actually marketed as being healthy. So um, you got to kind of be careful about that. So like this, uh, what appears to be a healthy bar, it says it's organic you know, whole grain, um, no GMO, those kinds of things. But then when I start and it's even got a, an active kit on the front of it on a skateboard, when I look at the ingredients, though, the ingredients are a little sketchy. And so that can be a real challenge, you know, and I might not want to read labels. And so my tip is avoid all processed foods and except for like, you know, what are good processed foods. And so things like yogurt, uh, cheese, um, you know, breads, those kinds of things. Even chocolate, you know, uh, can be real healthy if it has a high cacao level in it. Um, and then the base, you know, my favorite lunch is just a simple apple with some nut butter. And I'm pretty cheap. I get mine at Aldi. I just make sure that it's organic, you know, creamy peanut butter. Um, I know some kids I was talking with this morning have a peanut butter allergy. Well, there are other nut butters. There are almond nut butter. There's even sunflower um, butter. You know, I've had pumpkin seed butter. There's basically this, this whole uh, environment of uh, different types of nut butters and seed butters, all of which are really good for the brain. Um, but, you know, focusing on real food, you know, real fruit, nuts, you know, uh, meats and, um, you know, those kind of veggies, those kinds of things are what um, should make up most of their food. And, and those will help their brain as well. And then lastly, you know, just getting outside, getting outside and moving around. So it might be just going for a walk around the block. It might be going for a hike. Um, I have some students who are, you know, in uh, track or tennis, you know, just doing something that involves movement and preferably some movement that is outside. And 
um, what that does is that gets you, you know, your, your eyes are seeing the sun and you're being part of nature. You're listening to, um, you know, the birds and things like that. So get those AirPods out and just, you know, ground yourself. And it will actually trigger parts of your brain that will release melatonin and, you know, sleep will be easier and those kinds of things. And so, you know, just get outside and get away from the, um, you know, unnatural lighting, get into natural lighting, and that will start to activate parts of their circadian rhythm and they will uh, do much better than with their uh, higher brain function and so on. Okay, so as far as what's happening in class this week. So um, in class this week, we are um, finishing up with, uh, uh, just started into genetics, sorry, and um, did the vocabulary over that. And we will probably have the uh, vocab test on that uh, on uh, next Tuesday. Now, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip on with genetics. A lot of times um, that will mean that students will come home with questions about, you know, family history of certain genetic um, uh, characteristics. We talk a lot about things like hair color, eye color, using those as examples in class. And so um, those might be some questions that come up uh, this week or next week. Uh, we'll also talk about some genetic diseases. I share with, you know, heart disease and breast cancer are two things that are in my family and my wife's family um, that we will take a look at um, about that. So just a quick tip, you might want to be uh, prepared for that. Uh, in uh, biology, we're finishing up looking at the uh, biosphere and so we were talking about, you know, how energy moves through an ecosystem. So who's eating who and how that energy is moving through that. And then we're going to be looking at how different types of matter move through an ecosystem as well. So kind of looking at the carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, phosphate cycle, those types of things. Um, it's probably going to be the test over that. The biosphere test will probably be towards the end of next week because I want to get that done before we then get into um, iLearn. So iLearn testing will start that uh, around uh, the 25th. So I want to kind of get things uh, wrapped up as best I can, um, you know, before that happens. And so that won't happen in science, but I'm hoping I can get that done with biology before we start the next unit on that. So as always, thank you so much for everything you do to support the learning that's taking place in my classroom. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact me the easiest way to get a hold of me is to just post a comment down below here within Parent Square or uh, just shoot me an email. I uh, will get back to you as quickly as I can. Again, thank you so much.